In this video, we are going to learn how to create a website using the Canva website builder. So let's get started. As you know, Canva has added website building into their services. You can use it to build websites such as portfolio, service website, company website, business website, etc. So we are going to create a website using the Canva website builder. Once you go to canva.com, make sure to sign in. If you don't have an account, just create one. And after you do, you can see that the website creation is over here. If you cannot find it, you can just simply click on see more and find this. Okay. Now we are going to click on this and it's going to open up this canvas. Here you can build your website. You can see this is a blank section. You can add more sections by just clicking over here. And you can also add more pages just by clicking over here. Now, a good thing about Canva is that you don't have to design anything from scratch. You can go through these templates. Canva has all these templates that you can rely on. Now, a lot of these templates are only available in the pro version, but if you want, you can also use free templates. So let's just scroll up and we can also search for a specific type of template that we are looking for. We can see that the business is over here. So let's click on it and we can see there are several business templates. Let's say we are a digital marketing agency and we want to create a website for that. Let's choose this digital marketing template and we can use this template. So let's click on it. And this has seven more templates. So let's just copy this one first. There you go. We have a section ready. Now, after you add in a section, you can easily customize it. For example, the logo here, you can ungroup this like so. And then you can write the name of your agency. For example, we can call this Ace Digital. And now that's just for an example. And for logo, you can add in your own logo. And in Canva, you know, you can go to upload. And from here, you can upload your images, logos, and your own components. So once it's uploaded, you can add your logo over here. You can resize it. And once it's ready, you can group it back together. So I'm going to select this text as well. And once both of them are selected, we can click on group and this will be grouped together. So that is how you can add in your own logo. You can also change the position of the logo where you want to place it. You can place it in the middle or on the right hand side. That's up to you. But we are going to place it over here. Next, you can see there's an image. A big advantage of using the Canva website builder is that you will have access to the large collection of Canva library. So you can browse for your own images. You can also edit this image. Now, if you click on edit, it's going to open this up and you can edit it using this editor. Now we want to keep the image as it is. We don't want to do any major changes. And as for the text, you can customize this as well. Again, you can use the help of the AI to customize your writing. You can rewrite, fix spelling, continue writing, and do a lot more stuff. Of course, this also requires some credit. With the free version, you will have 50 credits. And if you upgrade to the pro version, you will have more credits. Now let's see if we can add a button. Now we want to use everything from a template. So first we're going to add another section. And from here, we're going to add this section. And here we can see there's a button. Now we can create this button from scratch, but I believe using it from this template will save us some time. So what we are going to do is grab this button, duplicate it and place it on our first section. All right, now we're going to move the text a little bit up over here, and then we are going to move this button over here. And then we can change the color by selecting it and choosing a different color. Great, so that is how you can add buttons. Now, of course, to add the functionality to this button, we have to go and add a link. And my plan is to add a link to our service page. So we're going to do that later after we create the service page. Now let's go ahead and add in another section. Now we want to add this page over here. So this added a new section and here you can add a text block and it's also asking you what kind of text you should add. It says this text block gives you a brief overview of your company, share your philosophy, vision or mantra over here. So you can add a text over here. So we are not going to add anything over here. Now using the same method, we are going to add another section. And over here, we're going to add this page and using this same method, we're going to add more section. And here we're going to add this. And this is a featured work where you can add in your projects that you have done. Now another section and we're going to add this one. 
And of course, it's called Ace Digital, so we can just edit it. And this is the way you can add in your web page. You can see how easy that was. Now let's go ahead and create another page. So to add another page, we can click over here. And this is another page of our website. Now we can add some more and some more sections. So from here, we want to add a services section. So let's go ahead and see if we can find any similar templates. And here is something that we can use. So let's go ahead and change these texts and these texts as well. All right, so we change these writings. Now also let's change these images. All right, we found some images and we added the colors and tried to resize it. Then we can also add a good color to our website. So let's say this is a good color. And that is how we can create another page. This way you can add multiple pages to create your website. Currently we have only two pages. Now let's go ahead and add a new page and this will be dedicated for our team. And we found a template and we just changed some text. I guess we have our website initially ready. Okay, now one more thing that's left to do is to add the link to our page, but we also haven't named our pages. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add a name to this page. So to add a page title, we're going to click over here and here we can add a title. We're going to simply call it home. And for this page, we are going to call services. And for this page, we are going to call it um, teams page. Now to add the link of this second page to this button, we can either click over here, copy the link to this page, and then paste it over here. To paste it, we can simply click over here, click on link and add the link over here. But you can already see the pages are mentioned over here. So we can simply select it and the link has been added. So once the users click on this link, it will redirect them to this page. You can see how easy it is to create a website using the Canva website builder, as you can use their popular drag and drop builder, customize the text, buttons, images to build your site within a few minutes. It just took only a few minutes to create this entire site. Of course, it requires some more customization and tweaks, but you get the basic idea. Now, this is great as it gives you access to the large library of Canva, you can use images, elements, and various other tools from Canva to make your website completely your own. But currently, you cannot build complex websites such as e-commerce, marketplace, LMS website, or online course websites, membership selling website, etc. Now, after you're done creating your website, one final thing left to do is publish your site. You can also share your site. From here, you can share it with people and get people's opinion. Now, another thing we need to do is actually test our site site for responsiveness. To do that, we're going to click on this preview button and it's going to generate this website along with the animations. Here you can see the pages are also created. Great. So you can see how your website looks. So also make sure that the resize on mobile is selected. Now to switch on to the mobile device, you can just click over here and you can see how your website will look on mobile devices. Great, it actually looks a lot better. Now to publish our site, we can use a custom domain. So if we click on custom domain, here we can buy a new domain from Canva and it will cost us $18.99 per year. So if we select this and click on continue, we can search for a domain and then we can register it and finally check out. But if you want to get a domain or if you want to link an existing domain to Canva, you do need Canva Pro. Now this has been confirmed from this FAQ. So if we expand this tab, the question was, our Canva websites really free. From this line, we can see other features such as purchasing a unique domain with Canva or linking to your existing domain are available when you upgrade to Canva Pro. But if you are a Canva free user, you can have up to five live websites on the free domain. So we don't want to actually purchase a domain. We just want a free domain. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so this is the available domain we could find, acedigi.my.canva.site. So we can click on publish. And now it's preparing our design. All right, now we can visit our site. So let's actually visit our site in an incognito browser. Okay, so this is our website. So this is our free domain. You can see it's written designed with Canva. We have all the pages here. 
and this is the team section so if we click on this button it's going to lead us to the services page so our website is working that is how you can publish your website on the free domain of course if you want to get your own custom domain you have to get canva pro in that case we can take a look at the pricing plan for canva there's the monthly and the yearly plans we will take a look at the yearly plans the canva pro is available for 55 dollars per year and the canva teams is available for 50 dollars per year per person minimum three people so there has to be minimum number of three peoples with canva pro you get one terabyte of cloud storage and with canva teams you'll get one terabyte of cloud storage as well but the free version only gives you five gigabyte of cloud storage so we hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you found this video helpful give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos such as this one let us know your thoughts about the canva website builder in the comment section thank you for watching see you next time